this is lab time. In this chapter, the lab will consist on placing a WebRTC to zip code. Today, we are going to call from a web app instead of a soft phone. In this case, we will use method 2 in which a WebRTC gateway acts, acts as a, a translator between WebRTC and SIP. Janus is a great candidate for this. It handles SIP signaling and media conversion. First, please verify that you are still able to register with Linfon as you did in the previous chapter. For then, for installing Janus, you can go ahead and follow the steps in the Janus README or just clone the repo that I am providing here. It is a Dockerized Janus optimized to use only WebRTC to zip. Once you have the Janus server running, you will need a web page to interact with the server. Janus repo already provides some static files that you can use for that. I will provide a new URL for those files in the PDF document we gave you. Once you have those files, you can serve them using Apache or any other web server. Once you have them ready, reach uh, the zip gateway plugin and register as shown in this image. As you can see, I included the uh, zip register, which is the location of where the zip server is with the zip format, leafhunt.org. You will have to add the same. I added my user, um, the uh, name, uh, the extension, uh, the credentials, the password, and an optional name that will basically just um, could be like a surname in this case. Once you add this, you can click on register and if all is okay, you should be able to place a call. From there, finally, you should be able to call and reach the cell phone you have at the other end. The flow will be as follows. A uh, user A will reach the front-end demo page and will be using Janus RESTful API to interact with the plugin, Janus Gateway SIP plugin. And this one will be the one actually speaking SIP with the SIP server register, which in our case is Linfon. Then from there, uh, the request will reach SIP client B, which will be your soft phone. So hopefully you learn a bit more about SIP and also about how it can in be integrated with WebRTC 